ready for this. What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about my weekend at the Clout House. Basically my whole experience at the Clout House and if I'm moving into the Clout House, because a lot of you guys are asking if I'm gonna be moving there, if I'm gonna be joining Clout Gang and different things like that. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take you guys on my weekend there to show you the footage of me around the house, what it's like getting food, what it's like hanging out with everybody. You can just see the experience like you're there with me and then we're gonna come back here and just talk about it and go through all the stuff that I talk about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head to LA. vibes here are insane just this area up here this is dining area the way it's lit up this part over here though this is the top floor just wait for this i'm setting up right here editing i know it's dark set up editing but look at this you can't fully see it look at la the hills here the moon is just nuts. Crazy, crazy blessed. This view, insane house, insane. As you guys can see, got the plug right here. Loose change, shout out the pop-up. This is probably the same video of the pop-up, but I just filmed my video with Ricky and we're gonna go ahead and edit that now. But I'm about to just sit down right here and Enjoy the vibe of LA, editing, what more can you need, Lee? Fans out there, taking pictures, leaving notes. They all followed back from the pop-up, so there's just an abundance of people outside. Here's the rose shirt. You can see, size medium, a little bit extended length, but feels good. People out there, yeah. Ready for this. Okay, so I'm in the garage right now. One of the things about the house is that there's not much food here. And so everybody just Postmates and gets everything delivered, Uber Eats. So I, for the first time, got Postmates. I got some wings or something coming. So I'm gonna kinda get that experience. Just give you guys a little bit of insight that everybody just Postmates or goes out because it's like 20 minutes to get to the nearest food place. So I've been going in CVS, getting food and whatever, and then coming back and just eating that. But Fine, decided to get a meal because everybody's just chilling. Okay, so now we're in the elevator. So I'm on the first floor. We're going up to the top. It takes a little bit for the door to close. It's not as a scenic of a route because you don't get to see the whole view, but if you guys know Banks and Rice did a 24 hour challenge in this. Could never do that, but now we're going to the top floor. There's that better view. Okay, so right now it is about eight o'clock. Feels like midnight for me. Just turn on all the lights in the house. So I'm gonna show you guys. This is my favorite thing. I've seen pictures of this. I love the way that this looks. So let's go check it out. I'm gonna take you, take you with me. Look, lined there. Of course you got the view, but it goes down all the stairs. As you can see of the reflection there. Okay guys, so I'm about to head out. It is early, like 8 a.m. right now. 
I'm leaving the cloud house because I have to get home, work out with school and different stuff that I got to deal with when I get back. But I'm excited to get back because I'm moving into a new place this weekend and it is my dream apartment. So I'm so excited for that. But this house right here was incredible. I'm going to talk about all that, give you guys all the details and whatnot when I get back. But right now, I'll give you guys a view for one last time because I still can't get over this. Just look, even when it's overcast. And before anybody says anything in the comments, yes, you guys smashed 3,000 likes on the video yesterday. It literally's only been up for like 20 hours and has over 4,000 likes. So an apartment tour will be coming soon, maybe this Sunday or the Tuesday after that because I'm still piecing things together. I still have a lot of stuff to buy, but I've got it all for the most part now. All my furniture is here and all that. So you guys will be able to see that. But again, I'm in love with this place. So let me know down below if you're still excited to see that. So basically my experience at the clout house basically banks dropped his loose change line this past weekend and he hit me up and said hey you're gonna be in la for the weekend and i was actually supposed to be in la me and one of my other friends wade were supposed to go out to la that weekend just to you know go ahead and just go to la experience it and just be in la and at the same time i had been talking to banks already so it would have been a perfect opportunity to actually go and meet him and so that early on the week it was like monday or tuesday he hit me up and was like hey are you gonna be out in LA this weekend? Cause I have my pop up and that's one of the big things. He showed me some of the stuff that was coming out with the line a little bit before it released. So I could go ahead and give him my opinions on price points and different things like that because he had watched my channel and he valued my opinion when it came to that. And so I was able to do all that sorts of things. And after that, I was like, you know, this is a perfect opportunity for me to go out to the cloud house to meet him. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Even though it was Tuesday and I was gonna be there on Thursday, Flights were very expensive. Other than all that, I was able to get a flight. It went all smooth and I got to the Clout House. And so one of the main reasons I was there is because of the loose change drop. If you don't know and you didn't see my video, it is the designer brand that Faze Banks dropped. Now he is very in tune to different things with streetwear. And so he watches my channel and he watches Jacob Star and different things like that. And so he wanted me to go out there and feel the materials and feel different things. Because if you guys, you actually didn't see it before I put the video reviewing it with him in the video, I made one just talking about it and my opinions about it anticipating me going there but i ended up not posting it and a whole day later i posted a video with him doing the actual material so it didn't make sense to post that was the one day i've missed that i kind of didn't post on schedule you guys know i post on a very consistent schedule tuesday thursday sunday and usually it's at like 6 to 8 p.m every single time but that one it wasn't but i'm actually wearing the rose shirt right now in honor of this video and before i even go any further a lot of people said with the loose change stuff that my different opinions on it were skewed and i'm going to talk about that now because I was in the house, people were like, oh, he's in the same house as him, he's probably watching him and making him say that he likes it. But in all honesty, I still have the exact same opinions that I did when I was there. This stuff is not like normal YouTuber merch. That's why the price points were so high. And that's why there were thousands of people on Melrose and it was shut down. And the whole pop-up experience was amazing. If you didn't see that video, go ahead and check it out. But basically the whole experience, everybody got to come in, you had to buy a piece. And then from there you go and you get to meet Rice, Alyssa, Banks, different things like that. And there's some YouTubers like me hanging out there. And I had a lot of my viewers actually come up to me and say, what's up? The security there was kind of crazy and didn't let many people come up. But the pop-up was just an amazing experience. There's also like a little friends and family thing the night before, which was awesome. I got to meet so many different YouTubers. But it's crazy to me to think that there's so many YouTubers that are into streetwear. So I talked to a bunch of different YouTubers who were there and a lot of them didn't know me when they first saw me. But then when they looked at my channel and we started getting to talking, they're like, I've seen your videos before because a lot of them are fine tuned into the streetwear thing. A lot of them like to have a sense of how they dress and whatnot. And so it was like the perfect thing where they actually knew me. and. Banks was just one of the people who actually reached out to me and talked to me about different things, which was really cool. Basically, the house is insane. It is like a $15 million mansion, and the view is incredible. Like, it's what you could dream of. The house is very modern. I don't know if you could tell. I like the modern look. The house is very modern, and I really liked it. It was just a crazy experience. There's so many people living there. There's like a bunch of people that go in and out. It was like 10 to 15 people probably, and you guys can see that in the different videos. A lot of people got to hang out with Wolfie, Banks. I hung out with Alyssa a little bit. Their Frenchie Paris, which I've been wanting a Frenchie for so long and seeing that dog, I've got to get one now. That's just a side note, but I got to see that dog. Uh, there's a bunch of different YouTubers and a bunch of different people who live in the house, just content creators in general. I got to hang out with Nick, K, Nikon, like there's so many people and it was just such a dope experience. The house is just like a hub for creativity. It's just a bunch of people who are able to like grab somebody to make a video and incorporate their audience and their different things that they do because everybody in the house does somewhat similar stuff but everything is different they all don't make the same genre of videos it's just like kind of out there it's kind of like the grand scheme of youtube they all just do everything rather than doing like just streetwear 
Because if it was a bunch of people in a street warehouse, you might know all the people who do similar videos, but in there, it's just so broad that it works when everybody brings everybody else together. There was a little bit of a situation where a kid tried to prank everybody at the house or rice come in banks and try to like get into the house and that sort of thing, which was covered on scarce and different things of that nature, but I don't really want to talk too much about it because I don't know exactly what Banks wants me to say about it because he was actually apparently going to meet with them and that was after I left so I didn't get to see. But I was there a full two days. I got there Thursday and that was Thursday afternoon and I was there Friday, Saturday, and I left Sunday. Very quick trip and honestly, I plan on going back. Through that, I got to go and just talk to the different YouTubers and I'm not one to pull out a camera and shove it at somebody's face when I meet them. I like it to be natural and just kind of a thing that happens once you start to get to know them because you don't wanna start a relationship with somebody just for them on camera. You don't want them just to be like flashy. Like if you meet somebody and they're initially just like want something for you, want you on camera, then it's just not really a way of a relationship to grow. So we did different things. We like went to in and out We just sat at home. I did a lot of time where I hung up on myself just because I was trying to edit and whatnot. And it looked from the house, it looks like everything's going on crazy throughout the day. There are down times in the day because a lot of people have to edit and do different things like that. Another person hang out with T-Wop. He's the editor there and he is a funny guy. I, I love hanging out with him, especially because I love editing. And that was just a great experience in and of itself. The food situation there is a little bit different. It's kind of like everybody fends for themselves and everybody just Postmates, which is kind of expensive. The Delivery fees make it like double the price when you get everything in total, but to get to where they live, it takes like 20 minutes to get to any like sort of store or anything. So it makes sense why everybody does it. So I did have to use Postmates. I did go down to like a CVS one day to go get some snacks and I went to like Starbucks. I didn't really vlog any of that just because I was still getting the feel of the area and different things like that. That leads me to the big question, am I moving to the Clout House? As of now, I just moved into a new apartment. As you guys know, I've been here for three days now and it kind of just kind of lined up with me going to the Clout House. At this time, I, I don't, I'm not planning on moving there. I haven't talked to even them about it because that's just not really a thing. I'm just going there to hang out. I've been there for a few days, created some content. I think it's an awesome thing to be able to do that. And I thank Banks so much for inviting me into his home and be able to just hang out with all the YouTubers, create content and different things like that. As you guys did see also, I got to do a video with the rice is down because I did a video talking about that previously, which is kind of cool. But besides that, everyone in the house is so nice and everybody is creative and it's a very good vibe if you're a content creator because everybody has the same goal there and that's to create content, it's to succeed on YouTube and to just grind. I will say that LA is very far away from home. It's a four and a half hour flight. It's like 24 hours driving. Everything for me is pretty much here in Atlanta besides I have some grandparents who live in Maryland, but everything else, my main core family lives in Atlanta and I love Atlanta for that. That's why I'm in my dream place right now because it's exactly where I wanna be. I like to live alone. It's something I haven't really done because in order to afford a certain apartment that I wanted before, it'd make more sense having a roommate, but I'll talk a little bit more about that in my apartment tour. But I think that's gonna be like my majority of information about the Clout House. I was trying to think of a way how I can incorporate like streetwear into this specific video and the loose change talking about it, that kind of is incorporated, but I just wanna talk to you guys I don't know how this video will do because a lot of people just wanna see the streetwear stuff, but I'm hoping it will still do well. If you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like this, leave a like down below and apartment tours coming soon. Another video with Sophie, my girlfriend, will be coming soon, so look out for that. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out. I don't know where I'm going, I just know where I'm headed, feel this up.